so here we have uh, my final project, which is mostly working. Um, and what it is, it's intended to be a museum installation that will allow kids to explore the idea of flick, uh, friction down an inclined plane. So they have here uh, kind of uh, an analog to a playground slide. The idea is that a kid will come here, take a random item that he might have in his pocket or select from some items that, that might be at the exit. He places them at the top, and as they roll down here, what they do is they trigger this uh, laser and photosensor combination, so that way the, c the computer will know where they are at this spot and then where they are at this spot and calculate the time in between them. When it does that, it knows how fast it's going, and then it knows the kinetic energy that it has. So you know how much energy something has at the beginning, you know how much energy it has in the end, and anything that doesn't match up is energy that was actually lost to friction as it travels down this slide. So once it falls in here, it weighs the object, and because I'm having some issues with the, the scale, what happens is um, I'm going to have to trigger it with my hand instead of using an actual object, I apologize. So I'm going to take a random object, slide it down here, trigger the first one, trigger the second one, and then I trigger it so the machine now thinks that it's uh, an object here, and you can see the interface actually changing. We'll try it one more time now that you're looking at the interface. Um, so I trigger once, trigger twice, weigh it, and you can see that it, changing, it changes from that initial all blue, all potential energy to a state that has some kinetic energy and some and most energy loss of friction, and then it returns to that initial state, ready for the next person to play with it.